Kaida is called the strongest creature in the world. But why is that? What is making him so different from the other strong people in the world? There are a couple of possible scenarios why people call Kaido a thing and not a human. But in this video I will only focus on one. Recently we saw Kaido in his dragon form, but we did not get a confirmation if that power comes from a devil fruit. Usually Oda puts a text box that states the name of the devil fruit, but he did not do it with Kaido, and I think there is a reason for that. I don't think Kaido has eaten the dragon devil fruit. We saw in a recent chapter where a fox did turn into a human. I think the opposite is possible as well, a human to turn into an animal form. And I think Kaido can turn into other forms as well, besides the dragon form. And that's why people started calling him a thing because they could not understand his powers. Oda was asked in SBS, when Kaido turned into a dragon, did he like float in the air? And Oda said, her dragons can fly in the sky by using the clouds. So Kaido is doing that by generating his own clouds and then walking from cloud to cloud. Does that make sense? Do you know who else does the same thing to fly? Momonosuke. I think Oda did distract us by showing Momonosuke eating that artificial doll fruit that Vegapunk did work on. And on the surface, it seems like that's why Momonosuke can turn into a dragon. But it was stated that the doll fruit was not a success. It was a failure. And that's why it was left there. I think Momonosuke's case is the same as the fox's. So there is no way that Momonosuke is able to turn into a dragon due to that artificial doll fruit that Vegapunk said that it was a failure. This guy is the best scientist. If he said that devil fruit was a failure, then it was. And the fact that we did not see any similar devil fruits made by the world government proves that he did fail. And also the dragon we saw in Punk Hazard was a European type dragon. And I think Vegapunk was using that type of dragon for his artificial devil fruit. So if that fruit was a success, then whoever will eat it, then he will be able to turn into that type of dragon. And not the Asian type of dragon that Momonosuke has. And also we saw in Mono those who have eaten artificial devil fruits. They did not gain the power of an animal completely. They cannot turn completely into an animal form, like the real devil fruit users can. They are more like a hybrid between a human and an animal. While Momonosuke can turn into a dragon form completely. But not just that, he also can generate his own clouds and fly. Just like Kaido. So based on that, Vegapunk not just was successful but he was able to create a real devil fruit. But apparently he is smart enough to create one, but not smart enough to realize what he has achieved. Which I don't think that is the case. Momonosuke said that he is not turning on purpose into a dragon form. He is not choosing. It is beyond his control. And that he has no memory of flying. Those are not the symptoms of a dull fruit. We have not seen anyone that has no memory of the time when they have transformed into their zone form. The dragon form of Kaido and Momonosuke are based on the Chinese dragons. Japanese dragons have only three claws, while the Chinese dragons have four or five claws. That is another similarity that Momonosuke and Kaido have, and that is one of the reasons why I think their power is the same. The other similarity is their eyebrows. Now, why is that important? It doesn't seem anything special. The eyebrows are just part of the design. But are they? Oda was asked in SBS about Sanji's eyebrows. Why does Sanji's eyebrow curl up at the end? Is this for fashion? Make it clear. And Oda said, Hey, you there, sit down. Now listen. Everyone lives in circles. The sun, the moon and the earth all spin in circles. And if earth suddenly stopped spinning, the planet would be covered in tidal waves. It would be terrible. Now remember that Sanji's eyebrow channels that same powerful circular energy. Reflect upon this, you may go. So I think it's very clear that it is not just a design. But there is a reason for that, and it is part of the structure of the story. Now we saw that the fox has curly eyebrows as well. That could be a hint that all three of them, they are using the same type of power and that's why they can transform. If that's the case, then it is great that Oda has introduced another power in the One Piece story. Recently Oda introduced a Sulong form of the Minx, and that power is epic, and I hope there will be more epic powers introduced in the story going forward. Thanks for watching.